I got into freestyle skiing basically because as I was learning to ski, uh, they opened the jump at my local dry slope at Bears Den. And I remember seeing all the really good riders there doing loads of really cool tricks. And yeah, it's pretty inspiring to see. And yeah, I, I knew from that point on, it was something that I was really into and that I wanted to do. When I first got into skiing, I, I wouldn't say that I had many big goals or aspirations really. Uh, I, I just really enjoyed it and, and had a lot of fun doing it. So that was the main reason. You know, as I, as I grew up and started to do more contests, I realized that there was maybe, you know, a path there that I could follow. And it's always been great to see people like Woodsy. He's skied at the highest level since I was pretty young. I mean, to be honest, I never thought that I would get there. So to be skiing on the World Cup circuit with him now is a privilege and yeah, something that I'm pretty proud of. I think what makes the UK scene so special is just how close we all are. You know, for obvious reasons, it's not the biggest scene in the world, but I mean, especially when I was growing up, every weekend we'd pretty much be a different dome or a different dry slope across the country, competing or just skiing with the same group of people. So that's something pretty special that you, you know, you see them every week, you get pretty close and it's a really nice thing, I think. I think growing up in the UK, riding dry slopes and domes does give you a certain edge. Obviously it's not a clear advantage, but you know, once you've learned to do all your tricks on dry slope and you get to one of the best snow parks in the world, like we're here in Korovac now or any of the World Cup courses, all of a sudden things seem a lot nicer, you know, when you're not skiing on a dry slope covered in mud or in the indoor dome where the snow condition is not exactly the best. So there is that sense. And also, you know, in the, in the domes and at the dry slopes, you're rattling out so many laps per hour. You know, it's a lot of practice, which is also something positive. So to try and break down the Olympic qualification process, uh, there's essentially two seasons, the season that we're currently in right now, which is Olympic season, and last season as well, uh, where all of the World Cups are qualification events and any points that you manage to pick up at these contests will go towards your Olympic ranking. So once the qualification period is over, it's the top 30 guys that will go to the Olympics for ski slope style and big air. So I'm currently ranked uh, 34th, I think, in the in the overall rankings, about 10 points outside of 30th place, uh, where I need to be to go to the Olympics. There's two events left before the Olympic qualification window shuts, and although it's going to be tough to try and close that gap, it's something that I think is achievable, and I'm going to try my best to do it. I wouldn't really say that the Olympics is my main goal in skiing. Uh, it's obviously something really cool that I, I would love to go to, but when I was growing up, the uh, slopes down big air weren't even part of the Olympics, so it wasn't something that I was aspiring to at that point. For me, it was more, you know, we'd grow up watching all the top guys riding at X Games, um, which would just be, you know, amazing if I ever managed to do that. Uh, it's obviously, really difficult, only, you know, use about 15 guys in the world get invited to X Games. Um, so for me, that's the kind of the pinnacle of our sport. Uh, but also I would say one of my main goals is just to make sure I always enjoy myself. You know, that's the reason I started doing this and the reason I still do it today is to have fun. And I definitely don't want to try and lose sight of that. I would say my highlight of the qualification period has been uh, the contest in Dubai. Uh, that was the first time that I've made finals at a World Cup, uh, which has been, you know, a really big goal for me and something that I've, you know, just missed out on a couple of times. Uh, so I've been really pushing for that, and to finally do it in Dubai was a great feeling. And then on finals day, I, I was really happy with my skiing. I actually ended up finishing seventh. Uh, so yeah, I was really stoked on that.
I would say the main thing that I've picked up um, during the qualification process is just how important having some confidence in own skiing is. You know, I think especially recently I've tried to believe myself a lot more. Uh, before the contest in Dubai, I really tried to tell myself that I was ready to make finals and when it happened, it was a great feeling. So yeah, I think believing in the work that I've been putting in and knowing that that's going to pay off when the contest comes.